Hello friends, welcome back to our tutorial designing an impressive architectural building in Revit 2018 Metro. If you have been following along, go and open the file 00 underscore 029 underscore DIAB underscore where you save it. In the last tutorial, we great foundation for our project. In this tutorial, we're going to create a footing for this project. Click the file tab. Have the mouse cursor to save as. Click the save command. Rename this file to 00 underscore 030 underscore DIAB underscore M. Click the save button. You can also download this file from the website. Double click the foundation plan. Select these walls. Hold down the control key and pick this wall and this wall. Change the base constraint to foundation. We go to the default 3D view to see the results. Double click the front elevation to open the front elevation view. We need to delete this level, the bottom of footing. Before we do, we need to make sure that no wall is constrained on this level. Select this level and change the value to minus 6000 millimeter. Hit enter. Now you see that only this wall constrained on this level. Zooming into this area, select the level top of foundation and click this arrow to move it to straight it. Select the foundation, change this value to 2000 millimeter, press enter. Now you click on this area and move into select this wall. Click the filter button, uncheck the reference plan, select apply, click OK. Go to the property palette, move this wall to the base constraint of this wall to foundation. As you can see, the wall is now constrained to the foundation level. Select this level and hit delete on your keyboard. Now zoom in, select the ground floor level, click on this elbow and move this up, move it into this direction. Click on this clip and move it so that you can co have control of your level. Click outside to deselect. Now let's go to the foundation plan. Select these walls. These walls are in the base, in the foundation base constraint. Now change the base offset of this wall to minus 600 millimeter select this wall hold down the control key and select this wall change the base constraint to minus 600 millimeter go to the default ready view to see the results click the button to close the foundation go to the modify tab modify panel and select the trim extend simple element click the face of this wall and click this wall click this wall and extend this wall click the modify button click this wall and move it back select this wall click on the grip and move it back click on join select the trim extend to corner select this wall and this wall click modify button go to the geometry panel and select the joint command click on this junction and select smiter click modify button select the trim extend single element select the core face of this wall and extend this wall Select the coffees of this wall and extend this wall. Go to the default 3D view to see the results. Now go to the front elevation. Select the foundation. Change the offset to minus 900. Press enter. Click the bubble to move down the annotation. Go to the foundation plan. Zoom out. Select all the objects into the project. Right click. Uncheck reference plane and click OK. Make sure that the location line is set to core center line for all of the walls. Go to the structural tab. Foundation panel and select the structural foundation wall. Zoom out and select the multiple option and use a window selection to select all of the walls. Click the finish button. If you get a warning like this, just click on your join and go to the quick access toolbar, click the default 3D view to see the result. This is a complete footing. The next step, we need to edit the footing to meet our need. If for now, double click the ground floor and go to the quick access toolbar, select the section command. Draw a section from this point to this point. Right click the section, go to view, zoom in into this area. Select the Align Dimension command. Dimension from this point to this point. Click to place. Dimension from this point to this point. Move down to place. Click the Modify button. 
Now we need to edit for the thickness. The 300 is okay, but the 900 is too much for this. I'm going to measure the thickness of the foundation wall by using the measure command. The wall is 200, so we need to make the footing three times the thickness of the wall. Select this footing, click edit type, click rename to rename this footing. Rename to bearing footing 600 by 300 and click OK. Now change this value to 600 millimeter. Click OK. Now all of the footing into the project have been updated. Go to the quick access toolbar and click the default 3D view to see the results. Alright, we have just greeted the footing for this project. In the next tutorial, we are going to start to build a stair for our project. If you like this tutorial, please click the like button and share it to your friend. If you have any question, please leave a comment below. If you want to continue this tutorial or any other tutorial on my channel, please subscribe. Thanks very much for watching. I hope to see you in the next class. Goodbye.